I bring you YouTube, a homemade shotgun in less than poor lighting conditions. It's not done. Update sort of thingy. Okay. Just stayed at a pizza place. Alright, um, I'm going to go over the barrel first because it is what I have the most done on. And the thingy I like the most. The barrel consists of three parts, two of which you can see, one of which you can't. Main barrel, outer door assembly that cancels all of this, and inner door assembly, which you can't see. Now, normally, I would just have this wing nut on here. Um, this was on here because I had to take it to Lowe's. This is, this is nothing. But, see, you put on this wing nut, and how this thing works is you have a shell. Now, will this ever get back on for me? Please? Please, pretty please. Come on. All right, there we go. You have a shotgun shell, and, uh, let's see, uh, that's... But it... Oh, here's my gunpowder, by the way. Um, shotgun shell, okay. 20 gauge. Everything here's 20. Shotgun shell, bird shot. Uh, I'm collecting the lead BBs, and see the lead BBs are all in here, and then the gunpowder I just showed you, and then the spent, well, the shells I've cut open and their wadding is down in there, because I'm making custom salt shells. Um, anyway, so, you have your barrel, and when you want to load this thing, you have to take this. Why is this stuck? This should not be stuck. Got it. Sorry about this, folks. Of course it's stuck. It was stuck for some reason. Um, anyway... So you have your wing nut when you're not when it's firing you're obviously tighten that down. But when you want to reload, this opens. And you have there. See that that line of steel like at, on the outside of the inner tube? That's the secondary door assembly. And your shell fits nice and tight down in there. See? Shotgun shell. And I'm doing this one-handed and with a car next to me, so Excuse my lack of skill. Can't see it. Okay. Fits in there nice and tight. Doesn't wiggle. See? You shut it. Clamp the door. Tighten the nut. the thing's loaded. Nice muzzle. I'm not going to look down it. Um, okay. What I made this out of, because you're all going to be wondering, this is about the longest I'm going to spend on any particular piece. This, I went from hardware store to hardware store trying to find something to fit a 20 gauge shotgun shell. I even went back into the woods where there was an abandoned house and tried to find some pipe that would work. Nothing worked. So, instead, I went under the house thinking, I'm never going to find anything, but I must look to at least feel better about myself. And I found my razor, my old, old, old razor electric scooter handlebars. I have, like, three electric scooters. I repair them and sometimes keep the ones that are failures. So, anyway, it fit perfectly. So, what I did, I cut off the handlebars. See, as you can see, that's where the the pole and you would hold it like this. That's why it has all these stickers. And um, then I needed a way and I was originally going to get this machine so I could thread something on there like an end of a, a pipe, a metal end, pipe end like this. But I decided against that because I found this also part of the electric scooter. This was the handlebar assembly. Say part, another part of the Razor scooter. And what it does is this was the fold down part for the razor and this would go in and it had, see, I cut that get off. It had, um, this end right here had, hmm, I'm not very good at this video thing, am I? Had this attached. 
if you work with bikes, you know what this is. And this fit down into the handlebars, and you had your nut that went in there, and you tightened it down, and you were all happy. But it makes a good handlebar assembly, and all I had to do was I took uh, the inner assembly, spread caulk all around it, like ridiculous amounts of caulk, and a little bit of JB Well on the outside. Uh, put two plastic stoppers at the end and then slid on this secondary steel. See that little ring outside the big one? And all that is, is that was a part of another electric scooter's handlebars that was just that fit the diameter of this. Then I took this assembly, cut it off, and this was the fold down, like I said, grind it off this end, and there you go. Very proud of it. It's my shotgun thingy. So I'll move on. I had my board. This used to be the end, but I decided to scrap it. I'm cutting it here. So I have a nice board, and it's all sanded down. It doesn't look pretty now, but it used to be. Um, I have my hinge that my barrel will mount. It will go. It's going to be mounted with, with this on so I can it's gonna be screwed in so I can go like this with the barrel with that still down you know like this so I can reload it because I was originally gonna get the thing to do the opposite and this fold down but because of my firing pin that won't work so anyway have my hinge put that in my nice handy dandy part buckets and um, this also then my spring assembly back here okay First, I guess I can discuss this. Let me take off this nut. I'm trying to reassemble it here because I wanted you to see all the components. This is going to be probably a 10 minute video. This is just a bracket, believe it or not, I found in the woods. Just, I mean, yeah, metal bracket. You slide this on. All of this, by the way, has cost me under $10. I've spent $10, well, like $7.50 so far parts because I had a lot of them but I suspect if you had diddly squat it would cost you eh, I don't know maybe $15 the most expensive parts the barrel so then you slide on this big spring that was the most expensive piece actually for me $4.99 and I got two of them okay so then you have that, that spring on and you get this piece And I'm actually planning on taking a beer cap and drilling it out so the spring fits nicely right in there it slides right in so it has something to hold because this was sliding around but you take your thingy here and push it in and then you're gonna take next thing is you take this and push it through then you got to get the nut which I hope I haven't lost nope here it is and you tighten that down Okay. So now that goes back. Then I have this assembly. All this is is a spark plug thingy and a um, yeah. Anyway, um, the next part is in here. You have this and where is that little thingy I had earlier? There it is. Okay, I see it. No, I don't. I lied. Nope, here it is. Okay. I'm not doing good, folks. You have this. And I'm going to screw off this nut real quick. Right? Do I screw off the nut? No, I wasn't supposed to. Yes, I was. Okay. So... First, I put on the nut. I, this is very hard to do one-handed. I'm going to have to cut to a part two, guys. So, I'll do that of the assembly. But, like I said, we'll call this the barrel half of the shotgun. So, uh, yeah, part two soon.